हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर चैनल लैपटेक वर्ल्ड माई सेल्फ किशोर वाघानी एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस पार्ट नंबर टू ऑफ हिमाचल प्रदेश स्टाफ सिलेक्शन कमीशन लैब टेक्नीशियन एग्जाम क्वेश्चन पेपर 2022 बिफोर स्टार्टिंग टुडेज एम सी क्यू आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट फॉर विजिटिंग आवर चैनल फॉर फर्स्ट टाइम थैन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल लैपटेक वर्ल्ड एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू इनेबल ऑल नोटिफिकेशन फॉर आवर नेक्स्ट अपकमिंग वीडियोज लेट स्टार्ट टूडेज एम सी क्यूज क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी फोर हेजमेन फैक्टर इज ऑप्शन ए फैक्टर वन बी फैक्टर फोर सी फैक्टर सेवन डी फैक्टर ट्वेल्व फैक्ट अवेलेबल फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इट इज फैक्टर ट्वेल्व इज अ पार्ट ऑफ ग्रुप ऑफ प्रोटीन्स दैट एक्ट इन अ स्पेसिफिक ऑर्डर टू क्रिएट अ ब्लड क्लॉट आफ्टर एन इंजरी फैक्टर ट्वेल्व इज ऑफन नॉन एज हेजमेन फैक्टर फैक्टर ट्वेल्व फ्लोट्स फ्रीली इन योर ब्लड स्ट्रीम अंटिल इट्स नीडेड when factor 12 come in contact with a damaged wall of a vein it activates the coagulation factor 11 and so on until it forms a clot so we can say it is factor 12 that is known as the hegemon factor so we can say option 4 option d factor 12 will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 55 platelets are derived from option a megaloblast b megakaryocytes c megaloblast d lymphoblast we have already discussed this question in our previous mcq series and the correct answer for this question it is platelets are derived from the megakaryocytes so option b megakaryocytes will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 56 diagnosis of inherited and acquired platelet defects in option a platelet aggregometry b pfa 100 also known as the platelet function sa 100 C both A and B D none of these fact available for this question it is a platelet aggregometry test checks how well your platelet comes clumps together to form a blood clots platelets are a type of blood cell they helps to form blood clots by sticking together a clot is what stops the bleeding when you have a wound talking about the PFA 100 PFA 100 is a screening test for the platelet dysfunction in this test the cartilage membrane is coated with the collagen and with one of two platelet agonists that is epinephrine or adp the platelet adheres to the collagen and aggregates in response to the collagen and epinephrine or adp so we can say both platelet aggregometry as well as pfa 100 both are the tests that are used to diagnose the platelet routine function or diagnosis the inherited or acquired platelet defects so option c both a and b will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 57 according to fab classification leukemia is diagnosed when the percentage of blast cell is option a more than 10% b more than 20% c more than 30% d more than 40% fact available for this question it is blast percentage plays a central role in the diagnosis and classification of acute leukemias and myelodysplastic syndrome or mds the french american british or fab classification requires a blast percentage of at least 30% in a bone marrow or peripheral blood for the diagnosis of acute myeloid leukemia or aml and also required specific blast percentage to sub classify myelodysplastic syndrome or mds into refractory anemias with excess blast that is r a e b and refractory anemias with excess blast in transformation that is r a e b t so we can say generally according to the fab classification percentage of the blast cell is required to be minimum 30% or greater to confirm the leukemia so we can say option c more than 30% will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 58 myeloperoxidase is used for the diagnosis of option a acute myeloid leukemia b multiple myeloma c anemia d acute lymphoblastic leukemia fact available for this question it is myeloperoxidase also known as the mpo a microbiocidal protein in the primary granules the mpo gene is exclusively expressed in immature myeloid cells with down regulation of this gene expression during the myeloid maturation although the enzyme activity can be preserved in the mature neutrophils 
the diagnosis of the acute myeloid leukemia is easy if more than 3% of the blast cells are confirmed to be cytochemically myeloperoxidase positive. So we can say it is myeloperoxidase enzyme that is used to diagnose the acute myelo myeloid leukemia or AML. So we can say option A acute myeloid leukemia will be the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 59. Megaloblast is seen in bone marrow of option A thrombocytopenia, B macrocytic anemia, C microcytic anemia, D none of these. Fact available for this question it is megaloblastic anemia is a condition in which the bone marrow produces unusually large structurally abnormal immature red blood cells also known as the macrocytes. Megaloblastic anemia or macrocytic anemia has several different causes. Deficiency of either cobalamin that is vitamin B12 or folate that is vitamin B9 are the two most common causes for this megaloblastic or macrocytic anemia. These vitamins plays an essential role in the production of this red blood cell. So we can say it is in case of macrocytic anemia where we can see the megaloblast in the bone marrow or immature or abnormal spherical red blood cells are seen in the bone marrow. So option B macrocytic anemia will be the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 60. Philadelphia chromosome is found in option A AML, B CML, C CNL, D CLL. Fact available for this question it is an abnormality of chromosome 22 in which part of chromosome 9 is transferred to it that you can see in the given figure bone marrow cells that contains the Philadelphia chromosomes are often found in the chronic myelogenous leukemia or CML and sometimes found in the acute lymphocytic leukemia or ALL. So we can say from the given information it is in case of myelogenous sorry chronic myelogenous leukemia or CML where we can see the Philadelphia chromosome. So option B CML will be the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 61. Salas needle is used for option A fine needle aspiration, B pericardiosynthesis, C bone marrow aspiration, D pleural tapping. Fact available for this question it is the needle most commonly used for obtaining bone marrow aspirates from the sternum are the Salas needle and Klimas needle that you can see in the given figure with 18 goes needles. So we can say it is you, it is Salas needle or Klimas needle that is used for the bone marrow aspiration so option c bone marrow aspiration will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 62 Heim's fluid is used for option a rbc count b wbc count c both a and b d none of these fact available for this question it is Heim's fluid is used as a diluting fluid for the blood specimens to count the red blood cells under high power objective talking about the functions of the components of the Heim fluid Sodium chloride maintains the osmolarity and provides isotonicity so that red blood cell maintains their shape and size. Sodium sulfate prevents the aggregation or clumping of the red blood cells. It is also acts as an anticoagulant as well as fixative. Mercury chloride acts, acts as an preservative. So we can say it is Heim's fluid that is used as a diluting fluid for the red blood cell count. So option A, RBC count will be the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 63 accelerators are used in option a cytological sections b histopathology sections c hematology sections d none of these fact available for this question it is acantulators and accelerators are substance which are which acts as an intermediary between the dye and tissue in the histopathology acantulators are used in used to increase the staining power of the dye with which they are used while accelerators are used in the metallic impregnation techniques for the nervous system for example it is chloral hydrate so we can say accelerators are the substance that are used in the histopathological sections so option b histopathology sections will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 64 as per who criterion the hemoglobin value in adult male is option a 10 to 14 grams percentage b 11 to 16 gram percentage c 13 to 18 grams percentage d 80 to 18 to 20 grams percentage 
फैक्ट अवेलेबल फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इट इज एज पर डब्ल्यू एच ओ क्राइटेरिया द हिमोग्लोबिन वैल्यू इन एडल्ट फीमेल इज इलेवन टू सिक्सटीन ग्राम्स परसेंटेज एंड इन एडल्ट मेल इट इज थर्टीन टू एटीन ग्राम्स परसेंटेज सो वी कैन से फ्रॉम द गिवन इन्फॉर्मेशन इट इज ऑप्शन सी थर्टीन टू एटीन ग्राम परसेंटेज विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी फाइव रेटिक स्टेन इज यूज टू स्टेन इन विट्रो फॉर ऑप्शन ए आर बी सी काउंट बी डब्ल्यू बी सी काउंट सी प्लेटलेट काउंट डी रेटिकुलोसाइड काउंट फैक्ट अवेलेबल फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इट इज अ सुपरा वाइटल स्टेन ऑल्सो नॉन इज द रेटिक स्टेन सच एज न्यू मिथिलिन ब्लू एंड और ब्रिलियन क्रेसल ब्लू इज यूज टू स्टेन रेटिकुलोसाइड्स फॉर एन एक्चुअल काउंट ऑटोमेटेड मैथड्स आर ऑल्सो नाव अवेलेबल टू परफॉर्म दी रेटिकुलोसाइड काउंट टॉकिंग अबाउट दी वन ऑफ दिस समवॉट सिमिलर स्टेन दैट इज इन पैथोलॉजी रेटिकुलिन स्टेन इज ऑल्सो नाव अवेलेबल इज अ पॉपुलर स्टेनिंग मैथड इन हिस्टोलॉजी इट इज यूज टू विजुअलाइज द रेटिकुलर फाइबर्स एंड यूज एक्सटेंसिवली इन दी लिवर हिस्टोपैथोलॉजी सो बी क्लियर बिटवीन दिस टू स्टेन रेटिक स्टेन दैट इज यूज फॉर द रेटिकुलोसाइड काउंट एंड रेटिकुलिन स्टेन दैट इज यूज फॉर एक्सटेंसिवली इन दी लिवर हिस्टोपैथोलॉजी सो हियर इट इज आज फॉर द रेटिक स्टेन सो ऑप्शन option d reticulocytes count will be the correct answer for this question that's all for the today thank you for watching the video please subscribe our channel lab tech world and if you like our work then like and share our videos with your friends thank you thank you very much